Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing probably the final video before the next update. And of course everyone wants to know what the next update is since the last logo was a false logo and for all the people that were commenting in other people's streams and videos today that I was wrong, I did say multiple times, this is more than likely not the logo and it wasn't. As I said, it probably wasn't and we were just going to have to see what would happen. But uh, yeah, today we're going over all of the brand new logo leaks that we have gotten from Drew. We have another amazing uh, weapon leak which is confirmed by Blacksmith himself and also re-going over everything that we know so far to try and come up with a theory for the next update. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it today. This time is the most stressful time because we are all sitting here wanting this update so badly, wondering when it's going to come out, what day it's going to come out, how far they've gotten with the progress, if they're going to need testing, what is going to be happening. But we can all calm down a little bit and just bring the mood down because we have a logo leak. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight logo images and one image of another possible spell in the dungeon as well as one more image of a spell and a possibility for an actual map screenshot which is going to be crazy for us today so i thought let's start off with the weapon first because it's its own little tiny little category so blacksmith tweeted holy Excalibur, a weapon that works like no other soon. And then we get this amazing screenshot of a holy Excalibur with gold and browns and creams and a little bit of detailing on the handle and a bit on the blade. But can we just stop for a second on this? It goes, a weapon that works like no other. So are we going to be getting a new rarity possibly? Because on the Discord they did mention like what if we get something more than a legendary which possibly goes to make us assume that there's going to be something like mythical items or something like that of a different value because apparently this update is going to be huge and I would love to see a new incorporation to new items. Obviously adding new items to every single dungeon would be amazing if they added a different tier just for other people to be able to use in those dungeons. But that was the first thing for today and obviously we've gone over everything on the DQ Twitter leak so far except for this banner which we will be going over towards the end because that could be the biggest reveal as to what we are doing with our theories for today so yeah let's just start off with this logo guys we have the plain silhouette for the new update oh my goodness guys look at it it kind of resembles the Underworld Dungeon. Just me? Or does it resemble the Underworld Dungeon a little bit? Hmm. Because looking at this, and then I look at the Underworld one, I'm like, this looks so similar with, like, the spikes sticking out the side. Because last time we thought they were going to have a crystal-type map based on what we saw, but it was actually dual blades. So... Are these going to be crystals out the side? Are these going to be dual blades? We have some kind of little fancy detailing around the bottom as well as some like fancy scattering on the top. And obviously on the sides we have like the point out that's usually for the Dungeon Quest logo in every single logo. And it kind of looks like a hat on top. I don't know. <laughs> People are saying it could be like a skull. People are saying it could be like a cavern or it could be like a... A uh, hat, as I said, a hat. I don't understand why people think it's a hat, but I can see it. I'm just like, is that a hat on it? I don't know. It could be just like a massive, like, creature's head. We don't know yet. And obviously, usually in these types of logos, we have weapons on either side sometimes. Let's actually have a look at the past ones because they kind of give us, like, the best thing. So, for example, yeah, it looks like on every dungeon we have had some dual weapons recently okay and then wow okay hmm. so every weapon every every logo so far has had weapons so we have to take into fact that some of these on the silhouette will be weapons i'm gonna guess the big thing is possibly the weapon i'm not sure but if we have a look at the previous videos we have seen some of the weapons being dual weapons and it could possibly be those as well but yeah um obviously after that we actually have a concept art so someone drew this as a concept art it is like a blue version with crystals obviously it's got like a little mini face at the top and it's just kind of like more of an icy dungeon type feel i'm not sure if they would do 
an ice dungeon, particularly because we already have Winter Outpost. It just doesn't seem like something that they would do. I'm not quite sure though, because they may spring it on us and go, yeah, here's an ice dungeon. Why not? <laughs> because we always get theories wrong most of the time. But then we have one, two, three, four, five screenshots of images from the logo. And I am super excited to bring those up because we're going to have a field day with them. So let me just bring all these up for me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The first one. Okay. So the first one, we don't know exactly where this is going to be on the logo. If we compare it side by side, obviously, we can see that it's possibly going to be that little section at the top near where the hat was because uh, it, it's like the only thing that really matches the shape and it kind of looks inverted too kind of I'm not sure so it looks like this is what our outline color is going to be there's not much else to say other than that because it's just kind of uh, spikes and then we also have this next image which finally shows some purple guys we're not sure if purple is going to be like the official or if they've inverted the colors so we don't understand what it's going to be but it looks like we have like some gray textures which kind of looks like stone or cement and then we have some blackish bluish grayish borders like we usually do and some purple there as well then for the next image we actually get a closer look at possibly at the very very top so this kind of looks like a gem kind of of some sort or like a button or something and we have like a three tier purple button with the same cream outline with some purple going off on the side as well as some brown and the base of the black and grayish blue color that we have before but this next one shows us possibly the most compared to what we're going to be getting for this next dungeon this screenshot right here shows the middle section of the logo as well as parts out from on the side. So it looks like we can finally see some more detailing of what is going to be on the main side of the logo. This looks like it's going to be on the right hand side of the logo from what people have calculated. We have some browns, some blackish grays, we have some creams, we have some purples. And this one, guys, is going to be all of these screenshots basically put onto the main logo in the silhouette form because that's what you got to do. You got to try and compare these things because if you didn't, you're crazy. If you didn't want to compare this, you're crazy. We need to figure out this dungeon. So this image right here shows possibly the placements for these images. So if we can see, we have like a crystal type vibe on the right hand side, but it looks like we actually have the like the scattering the image kind of going off onto the, you get what I mean okay we also have a new image down in the bottom which is possibly showing like an arrow or a spear type edge if it's like on an arrow you guys see the arrow tip so I have no idea what do you guys think this logo is going to be fully once it is revealed or if you're watching this congratulations for already playing the update because this comes out right as the update does as well and I'm super super duper excited for it this is the logo it's all I can really say. This is the logo thus far. Cannot add anything else into that. Unfortunately, I tried to drill Drew for more leaks so bad. But he's like, if I gave anything else away, it would just ruin the theme of the dungeon. So obviously, it's going to be very, very obvious when we do see main signs of the dungeon. But that's all good. Because we have the best two next images to go over. And this next one is going to be the possible spell. So this image right here is a V Cafe on top of a large tree. And I'm not sure if you can actually fully see this or not. You guys probably see it better than I can because I'm looking at it a little bit. But this looks like a giant spear or jousting rod or even like an arrow coming from a giant ball. So it looks like this is possibly a mage spell or if they imagine if they add a new class in and this is an archer class and this is one of the attacks. Oh my gosh, that would be absolutely crazy. And I, I love it if that's the thing. Obviously, this is actually Vinny's name. It's come from a screenshot in game. I'm not sure where this leak actually was. Someone sent it to me at like three o'clock this morning. So I'm not sure if it's real, not sure if it's fake, but if it is real, that would be absolutely cool. Imagine if we got a new class, guys. That would just match in so well and just bringing something new to the dungeon since this is going to be one of the biggest updates ever. But this image. 
This image here came from DQ Twitter links, as per usual. Twitter leaks, not links. Oh my goodness. We have a cave crystal like structure. Obviously, um, I'm not sure if this is real or if this is fake. This is just their current banner at the moment, and it kind of piqued my interest. So, obviously, we have some see through crystals, we have like a mining system, we have some lights on some wooden boards as flooring, we have some rocks up on the ceiling and stalagmites with some crystals, and we also have like an elevator shaft coming down from the top. This would be such a cool map, especially with the glowing effects from the crystals. I think it would match in pretty well, and if you look at the crystal shapes, they kind of match the silhouette logo thus far. So I'm super duper excited for this. So obviously, the biggest theory at the moment is like a crystal or overgrown like cave type mining system type map. I wouldn't mind it. I 100% would not mind this as a dungeon. I think it would look really cool. The only thing that I am kind of disappointed in is obviously if this is our map, it's not summer related and it's summer for Americans right now. So I honestly wish that they did more of a summer theme or like a hula type theme, just something along those lines. But who knows what they have in store for the future dungeons because... They're not stopping here, guys. They're going to go on and on and on and on for these updates, especially throughout summer, more than likely, to get the most content out for you guys. So that is all the leaks I really have for you today. I have tried to find more. I have not been able to find more. If you have any more, make sure you contact me on either Twitter or Discord with them. Obviously, a lot more of the... Uh, weapons were leaked from Vinny's inventory, but I am not going to be spoiling them as that kind of ruins the entire point of seeing them in game for the first time. I know I like leaks and I know I don't like leaks at the same time, but what can you do? <laughs> I, I personally want to see them as a surprise for myself. So I haven't looked at them and I've stayed away from them. So yeah, if I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not showing them for you guys, but if the update comes out tonight, we will see them firsthand, guys. And if it comes out tomorrow, we might just have to go over them tomorrow. I have no idea yet, and we'll have to work that out on our way. But yeah, just a reminder uh, for the daily rewards thing. So you get a daily reward every single day, and they have decided when a new dungeon comes out, they're going to have a two-day turnaround. So for the 48 hours after the dungeon is released, you will not be receiving the new dungeon's loot from that well. You'll be receiving in the lower dungeon for 48 hours until that turnover time has taken into effect, and then you will start receiving your items from there. This is to stop people getting super OP very, very fast from just daily rewards and grinding for that only, as well as stopping people from getting legendaries on their first shot in the well, because we all know that happens. Sheep literally got a new legendary the first day that daily rewards came out. That was absolutely crazy and insane, and I wish I had his type of luck. But yeah, let me know other theories that you guys have down in the comments below, because I am super interested in what you guys think, or what you guys want for other dungeons as well. I'll leave all of your spell suggestions, all of your weapon suggestions, all your map suggestions down below so we can share them with Joey and Vinny for the next future updates. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Also hit the notification bell if you'll be notified every Every single time I post a video or start a stream and yes this came early because I am super excited and I'm super like scared this is gonna come out like right before the update because that usually happens as soon as I'm like about to publish a video Vinny will be like shutting down servers and I'm like really Vinny I just made a video <laughs> but yeah thank you so much to the people on the screen right now for being my current channel members if you want to learn how to become a channel member click the join button down below or on my main channel page and I hope you guys have a lovely day or night, wherever you guys may be in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.